So this question comes from, I don't even know how to say that. <laughs> no idea how to say that. Anyways, um, I need your help. Please send me a video on how to block the online uh, CCTV cameras. These cameras are installed in our office. Please help me. It's only for privacy purposes. Uh, so this is a question that has come up recently for a lot of people after they found out that a lot of these uh, these surveillance cameras have actually been hacked. So you go out and you buy a Linksys video camera or an Axis video camera, a lot of these different uh, video cameras that are out on the market uh, and people have actually left the default usernames and passwords in place and there is some hacker out there that has been going out and basically showing to the world all of the different surveillance camera feeds to show you basically how stupid you are so if we go over to a network world here you know we can see peeping into 73,000 unsecured security cameras thanks to default passwords oh yes the internet of things the internet of everything is here and it's already starting to get scary so basically it's this website that shows you what's going on and all these people's different houses so since this has happened a lot of people have gotten scared because they're like oh no what if somebody's peeping in on me and so the first thing that I will say is anytime you install any of this type of uh, surveillance camera stuff, uh, and especially if it can be connected to the internet, so if it's an actually an IP camera and it can talk to the internet and things can talk to it, the main thing that I would say, first of all, is to always put the cameras in places that you wouldn't really mind uh, if the video feed uh, went out to CNN. Like, you might not particularly like it, you may not particularly appreciate it, but if the video feed got put on CNN for five hours, like, nobody would think that much about it. So, what uh, when I say this, basically what I'm saying is don't put cameras into things like your bedroom. Any place you're going to be walking around naked, don't put the cameras. So, like, if your bathroom is down the hall from your bedroom uh, and you walk naked from the bathroom to your bedroom or vice versa, don't put a camera in the hall because the fact fact of the matter is these systems can be hacked and this is only going to get worse this is a brand new really cool world for the hackers and they are going to compromise these systems whether it's today or tomorrow uh, this camera or that camera th this is the future basically having these uh, these kind of ip connected devices in our houses uh invite hacking to happen and basically as i always say assume hacking would happen assume that your device will get hacked and then only install the device in such a way that if it gets hacked, you're not so concerned about it. You get what I'm saying? So like, if I was gonna have a surveillance camera for security for my house, um, I would put a, a security camera like in my living room. So I have a big living room that the entire house connects to. Uh, so if I thought somebody might break into my house, I would put a surveillance camera there. The reason I would put a surveillance camera there uh, is because you have to go through the middle of the house in order to get anywhere and because my wife and I are not particularly kinky um, and I know we're not going to do any naughty stuff in our living room, right? Uh, just how we are. Uh, if, if you're going to be doing all kinds of weird stuff in your own personal living room, then you don't put the camera in the living room because it may go out onto the internet. So this is why people are concerned. So this person has an office and it has a surveillance camera. So first of all, I would hope that uh, you are at the actual owner or manager of the office. This is very important to understand. Uh, if you are just an employee that dislikes the fact that you have a surveillance camera trained on you, um, then the answer to your problem is to get a new job. Really, uh, basically, remember if you're going to be hacking or attacking any systems that you do not personally own. Uh, in most countries, that is a crime, and it just doesn't go over well in any way, shape, or form. So, seriously, I mean, if if you are in an environment that has surveillance cameras and you're like, "This is intolerable. I cannot deal with this," um, I completely and utterly understand. Uh, make sure to write a review on Glassdoor.com about your particular company, and then quit, leave. Um, because if you start attacking those systems, uh, it just gets messy really quick. So if you own the systems and they are web-based, but you don't want them to be web-based, so uh, so why would this happen? So a lot of people, um, like they like the fact uh, that they can access these cameras over the network, but they don't necessarily want to access the cameras over the internet. Uh, so uh, I had some clients when we had the surveillance systems where they would have warehouse environments. So they would have really large warehouses. So what would happen is the manager or owner would sit in their little 
office in the warehouse, and then in a screen, uh, they would have all the camera, you know, they would have 16 cameras pointed throughout the warehouse so they could keep track of what's going on. So they could look up and go, why is that truck still in the loading dock? Or they could see a truck pulling in and go, why is that truck pulling in? That's not supposed to be here for another half an hour. Or they could see the people doing the work and basically, so they wanted, they wanted, web, how do you put it? They wanted browser access. They wanted browser access to the cameras. They did not necessarily want web access to the cameras, if you kind of kind of get what I'm saying there. So that's the question. So it's like, okay, you set all these cameras up, you know, Axis or IQ and Vision or whatever you decide to set up. Uh, you want to be able to view them internally from your premises, but you don't want them to be uh, viewed externally, and you don't want hackers to get in. Really, at that point, what you have to do, the only thing that you can really do is use a firewall uh, to block the internet connections for these cameras. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to figure out what ports these cameras are using. So uh, so cameras don't all use like port 80. So a lot of these cameras uh, use port 80. Basically, that's the web, the, the standard web port. Uh, some cameras don't. I did run into that in the real world with surveillance systems is it would use them. You're just sitting there like, where do they even come up with that port? Um, and then literally, uh, so if you don't know what port your cameras are using, and this is what I had to do back in the day, you, you actually have to go into your router. You have to turn on the fire, uh, like the firewall logs. Then what you do is you turn off all the ports. Then what happens is when the, the cameras try to communicate with the outside world, hopefully that they'll do, uh, when that fails, you will then get a little access denied uh, entry in the log file and you get to see what, what ports. So what you do is you log into your, your little router firewall thing, you turn on, you completely, you, you disable all ports, all ports, turn on the log file, when the cameras try to access the outside world, what you're going to get in that log file then is it will show you all of these different ports that are trying to be accessed by different devices. So you go in, from that, you try to figure out what the cameras are. Then what you do is you turn, you turn the firewall off. Then you turn off those particular ports, and that's what you do. Uh, so that's basically it, if you grasp what I'm saying. So you go into the firewall, turn off all the ports on the firewall, turn on logging, see what's trying to get out and what ports they're using, turn off the firewall or turn off the, the protection on all the ports, and then only block those ports. If, unfortunately, uh, how a lot of these cameras are, if they actually use port 80, the problem is you can't block port 80 because that's your HTTP port, right? If you block port 80, nothing on the web is going to work for you. So then what you would have to do if you have IP-based cameras is you put them on their own network. So essentially what would happen is you would take your IP surveillance cameras, uh, you would connect them all into a switch and their own router, their own router. Uh, from there, basically, you would lock everything down. Uh, then they could commu that means they could communicate with each other, but they couldn't communicate. Oh, actually, actually no, screw the router. Um, connect them to a switch, just connect them to a switch, don't give them router access, and then they can't get to the outside world. So basically what you would have to do is you'd have to create an entirely separate network for those surveillance cameras so they can't access the network. That makes sense. Hope that makes sense. That's complicated. I mean, it's like, it's not horribly hard. Uh, if you if you call it in like an IT professional, they should be able to solve that in like an hour or two. But it's definitely not the, the simplest, easiest thing in the world. But yeah, those are your... Those are your options, and um, yeah, 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 those are your options.